Hello people, thanks for sharing me with your love as always and I wish to do something different today and hopefully you all are there with me on this. Hmm? I want to talk about the Korean wave that has been with us for some time now. Korean culture has been gaining a lot of momentum internationally with their K-pop, movies, dramas, food, makeup and what not. BTS, Train to Busan, Parasite, these names must surely ring a bell. And I have discovered the same through my newfound love for Korean dramas. Thanks to the lockdown, I have been binge watching quite a few of them. High five to that because I love Korean dramas as much as all of you and I'm super inspired by their culture. It resonates so much with our daily life, relationships, family bondings, etc. Right? The respect and talk to elders formally value families just like us. And best of all, both the countries share the same day of Independence Day. 15th August. Quite relatable, right? Also, a little trivia as to how I got this new prevalent Korean wave. It was my sister who was so taken in with Korean dramas that she used to stay up and binge watch them rather than doing her assignments in college. She was so engrossed with the content that she started learning Korean despite being submerged under post-grad assignments and papers. She now works as a Korean translator at a big MNC and subtitles Korean dramas. On another note, I have news for all drama fans here. Korean Mokoji Korea is now on. And guess what? India is one of the three countries where it's being celebrated. India week is going to be from 4th October to 10th October followed by the Russia week. Oh wait! Maybe you don't know about it yet, right? Mokoji Korea is a festival that promotes Korea's life and culture by interacting with foreign fans. It is a festival where you can experience Korean culture and lifestyle. Now, you must be thinking why I look so excited if I can't go and enjoy Mokoji Korea there. Well, hold on. You and I can enjoy the Indian week online from the comfort of our home on the Mokoji Korea website until the 10th of October. Please visit the official website of Mokoji Korea at www.mokojikorea.com to have more fun. The whole Mokoji Korea festival will last until 14th of November. Now, let me bring more Korea to you. How about we create a simple Korean makeup look? by using Korean products today. I'm sure we all know how flawless the Korean makeup looks. Their tips and tricks of skincare is something that is catching on very quickly. So come on, let's do some chit chat while I create a simple everyday look. And trust me, it's very basic. You all will be able to do it very quickly and make it a part of your daily routine. Let me share a secret with you today. You know, I just finished watching Crash Landing on You and I just can't stop gushing over Hyun Bin and Sonia Jin's chemistry. I admire both of them for their acting skills and it is more endearing that they are a real life couple. Looking at them reminds me of me and Gurmeet so much. And also, it is unbelievable how young and flawless she looks for her age. Let's see if we can recreate something like that. The first step is prepping the skin. Korean beauty look is all about moisture. Hydrating the skin is the key to nail the much coveted no makeup makeup look. Hydration makes the skin look young and bright. Tone the skin with the Face Shop Rice Ceramide Hydrating Toner. For hydration, my best kept secret is a sheet mask. I'll use the Innisfree Green Tea Sheet Mask here. And then I will use the Fascia Pomegranate and Collagen Volume Lifting Serum and finish my skin prep. Korean makeup is bright, spotless, dewy and fresh. Special attention while applying the foundation to cover any spots or blemishes to attain the spotless skin look. I'm using the Innisfree foundation here, a little lighter than my original skin tone. The right way to use it is to apply it on your face heart zone, your cheek, forehead, nose and chin. This creates a gradation effect on your face, wherein light is drawn towards the center making for a very natural looking contour. Stay away from dramatic contouring. Koreans aren't big on Kim Kardashian style contouring. 
Instead, they prefer a natural looking chiseled cheekbone. I will use the Etude Gradation Contour Wheel on the holes of my cheek and then use a brush with a little foundation and blend on the same area to soften the contour. Time for the eye makeup. Korean eye makeup is all about making your eyes look brighter and younger. I will use the earthy shades of brown and peach from Etude Play Color Eye Palette Rose Bomb to keep it to a natural everyday look. Choose a shade lighter with a little shimmer in the center of the eyelid to give the eyes a little pop. This step isn't specific to Korean makeup. I prefer doing this very commonly. I have hooded eyes much like the Korean, so I do this kind of liner pretty often, if not always. Today I will use the Powerproof Pen Liner by Innisfree to create a thin wing line. Make a basic line by keeping it close to your eyelid in the inner corner of your eyes and creating a short angular wing on the outer corner of the eye. Make sure not to make the wing too long or too high up. To get the Korean eye makeup right, use the same color that you used on your eyelid center on your lower lash line. This will give you the look of Aegeosol, also known as cute eye bags, a super popular look in Korea. I've heard Korean girls make it a point to highlight their Aegeosol as it gives others the feeling that they're always smiling. Korean makeup is just not complete without trying this look. Eyebrows make up to 70% of your facial expressions. So I treat eyebrow as the most important step in makeup. Koreans are known for making their eyebrows thick and straight, giving them a sweet and cute expression, as opposed to the high arched eyebrow that we usually create. Gradient lips are a huge in Korea. I will create this look with the Innisfree lipstick on the center of the lips and then I will also put a little bit of Innisfree oil-based lip tint and use my fingertips to blend the edges creating the gradient or ombre lips. Now it is time to create a natural flush by the powder blush Innisfree My Blush 10 Pink. I will create the dewy and radiant look by applying the blush on the apples of my cheek and nose tips to create a natural looking and healthy flush on my cheeks. For lover of dewy finish, highlighters are godsend. Just see how a touch of Etude Face Shine Highlighter on the cheekbones, on the bridge of nose, chin and bow of the lips can transform the look much like the icing on the cake. Anyan ga seo, chanon debi na emni da, nae fan there, nobo saran heo. No, no, I have not learned Korean fully yet. I've just learned these few words from my sister. By the way, did you notice all the products that I use today are of Korean origin, right from the skincare to the lip tint? So, how did you enjoy my way of celebrating Mukuji Korea? You can check more about the festival by following the link on the screen and website on the description box below. And enjoy your way by joining these events. I must say, I just love this look. It is so, so simple. And I feel I look much younger with the perfect essence of elegance on my face. Thank you so much, Kumap Sinnida, for inspiring me to try out something different today. I'm signing off with lots of love. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.